Hello everyone, it's your girl again, the lawyer chef. Uh, tonight we are making tilapia pepper soup for tilapia lovers. The last time we made the catfish pepper soup and some people requested for tilapia pepper soup. So for those who do not know, pepper soup is one of Nigerian delicacy. And then we cook tilapia with uh, spices, with a lot of spices and seasoning. So this tilapia is being cooked by the local spices. And then this local spices, I made this by myself. And then it contains black pepper, which is good for weight loss. It also prevents cancer. Uh, it detoxes your body, regulate blood pressure, prevents constipation, and then in it as well, um, we have cloves. Cloves reduce risk of heart disease, reduce developing certain cancer and diabetes. There's also nutmeg, and there's also nutmeg in there which is an anti-inflammatory, antioxidants. It protects against cancer, another disease, and liver disease. I also have in these local spices, Euro. Euro is African nutmeg, which is good for weight loss as well. It's also good for blood pressure control. It prevents kidney infection. So in these local spices as well, we have a uh, odor, selling pepper. It's good for stomach problems, fight infections, relief respiratory system, control high blood pressure. It is also good for weight loss and cleansing. So you can see why we celebrate our African pepper soup. So, so tonight we are making tilapia and yam pepper soup. Three medium size of um, tilapia, which has been washed properly, seasoned, when seasoned and marinated overnight. So we have, we season this with um, the ingredients we have on this, on this platter. Yesterday night we've added half, half teaspoon of all this to to marinate this i'll show you how to marinate when i was making my catfish uh, pepper soup so this is the um, it's ready to go then we have our yam we are add, we are using yam today so we have from um, 500 grams of a chuban of yam the yam has been peeled and diced like as you can see then we have a uh, Half cup of ground prawns and crayfish. We have a homemade paste of organic ginger, garlic, red onions, and spring onions. So we're going to be using two tablespoons of this to cook our tilapia and yam and pepper soup. So we have uh, scotch bonnets, habanero, dodo, so this has been smoothly blended last time we did a roughly blended one this is smoothly blended um, habanero for our pepper soup and like i said i'm not going to tell you how much to put you put your habanero or scotch bonnets or rodo based on your tolerance for pepper so this is what we're going to add this is what we are going to add this is what i can take your might be different so we also have um yeah the paste the the paste is is made of all this the paste is made of all this then we are going to add um two liters of water one has already been inside the pot i'm going to add one liter later so i just want to tell you what we have the name of the spices and the seasoning so this is mixed herbs one teaspoon each Miss herbs, it's a cinnamon. This is a Nigerian house pepper. And this is the local spices I told you about earlier. 
And this is a Cameroon pepper. This is a white pepper. And um, this is a fish seasoning. And this is a turmeric. This is salt for taste. Then we have crayfish seasoning. So those are the ingredients we're going to add into our pepper soup later. We have a um, half cup, half cup of um, ground um, prawns and crayfish. So let's proceed to cooking. So we were starting by adding our habanero into the a little of um, a little water that uh, is boiling on the stove already. So I'm adding habanero. And two tablespoon of paste of ginger, garlic, red onions, and spring onions. So we're adding two. Then we're going to add uh, some of our spices, half of the spices now. So I'm going to have half, half of this, half of the cinnamon and ginger pepper, mixed herbs, crayfish seasoning, salt, turmeric, half, then fish seasoning, then white pepper, Cameroon pepper, local spices for cooking and ginger pepper soup. All right. So we're going to mix the whole thing together. together before we add our food to sit in it and soak the flavor like I said the fish the tilapia has been seasoned thoroughly seasoned so it's not gonna it's not gonna take a long time because the fish has been pre-seasoned it doesn't take much time if you do it that way but we're going to bring the the water to boil Five minutes. All right. So we are going to add um, tilapia into the pot. So like I said, if you can just take your time to marinate then to save you a lot of time and it's going to make your fish very 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 yummy because all the flavor will be soaked in it so i'm going to hide the dice yam into it it's it's going to cook about the same time with the fish so we're going to add them I'm going to add it to it and, and let it cook for 30 minutes on the low heat. It's going to be a slow cooking. Yeah, we we'll come back in the next 15 minutes to taste for salt and to know whether we need to add um, more salt and how the other seasoning. It's been 15 minutes and the fish has been, the tilapia has been soaking in the flavor under a low heat. So we're going to have the, we don't want to overcook it, so we're going to have the remaining spices now. Especially the pepper soup spices now. On the pepper.
to my ring and the, i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave the salt the salt when i finish cooking if i need to add the remaining one i will put it oh likewise the water if you want more water you can always add more water but we have just one liter here so i'm going to mix the thing together yeah you can see that the tilapia is releasing its own oil already so we don't need to add any oil so this is looking delicious already I'm going to add a little water just to cover the old fish. Mm. It is pepper soup, so we need a lot of liquid to drink when we are eating our pepper soup. And like we've said in our introductory stage, that the drinking this is good for cleansing, it's good for detox, it is good for cold seasoning. So, I'm going to add the crayfish as well. I think I'm still going to add a little bit of water as well. Mm -hmm. Should be gentle with it. It's gonna scatter if you are not gentle with this. Yeah, some people had palm oil, but I don't have palm oil in my pepper soup. Like I've said, fish is uh, rich in omega, so it has a way of releasing as well. If it's gently cooked on that low heat, then the oil will come out. It's heavy fats will come out. Oh, we're back. So I'm going to taste for salt now. Yeah, so I will add the remaining salt. Yeah, so I'm also going to add abs. Oh, I have uh, chopped the basil leaves and parsley here. And then a fury, dried a fury, Nigerian sin leaves. So uh, we know that they, they, our herbs had a lot of benefits as well. Yeah, it prevents a mother child disease, cancer, diabetes. We know that basi reduced blood sugar level is also antibacterial, antioxidants, and antiviral. Yeah, I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna add it. You can add any thing of your own, but I like uh, basin. I like the, I like the aroma. I can feel it right now. At least there as well. I will know that a uh, parsley leaf also is good. That prevents urine infections and kidney stones. It also has a lot of vitamin. It has vitamin K and reduce blood pressure and bloating. It can also be used for, or uh, an anemia treatments so this is our sense leaf a fairy is early nutritional as well it's a very good herbs with so many as benefits 
So we're just going to let our pepper soup, I mean to let the, the herbs, you know, sink into the fish for a minute or two. Pepper soup will be ready. Yeah, so the, the longer you let it sit, the more flavored, you know, the pepper soup will become. So you can let it sit for a while. Let it sit for a while after it's done, then you are going to enjoy it. It's still very, very good and delicious Nigerian delicacy. So in the next one minute or two, then we're going to serve our pepper soup and yam, our tilapia and yam pepper soup. So our tilapia and yam pepper soup is ready now. So that's how to do it. Thank you for staying to the end. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this if you like it. And give your comments. Thank you. So here we have it. Tilapia and yam pepper soup. Enjoy!